Hey guys, so I haven't done a tutorial in a while and there are a couple of reasons for that. One, I just think they're kind of tedious to make and I'm always worried that I'm missing something. Two, I feel like a lot of times when people are looking for tutorials of things, they expect it to be really easy. I don't think that the way I play this song is especially difficult, but I don't really recommend it for beginners just because of the way that the chords are different from what you're used to. And the only reason I say that is just because on the tutorials that I used to do, some people commented that they were um, frustrated that they couldn't get certain parts of the songs. And there are just some things that are really hard to explain. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to start by just playing the way that I do this song so you can kind of hear all of it together because I think that the chords and how weird they are will make more sense in the context of the song. I would start by telling you what the chords are but um, I'll show you the chord names in a second. They're, um, I don't think they're going to be very helpful but essentially uh, all of the chords are derivatives of uh, G. D, E minor, and C. And I should have also mentioned that my capo is on the third fret, just because that's where um, it fit my voice best for the cover. And the strumming pattern is basically um, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. But there's kind of a um, swinging rhythm in there that you'll hear. It's not a real cover, so it doesn't matter if I mess up, right? So let's talk intro verse. The chords that my chords are based off of, like I said, are G, D, E minor, and C. The G that it starts with just uh, stays the same. So G, two, three, four. The D, is a little bit different. Normally it would just be this, um, but instead I leave the fourth string open. The third string has your first finger on the second fret, and the second string has your third finger on the third fret. So it sounds like this. And in the song, I only do that for two counts because then I move this third finger down a fret. So they're right next to each other. Um, you could use your middle finger too. I, I don't know why I do this. It's just the easiest for me. So the way that that sounds is one, two, three, four. 
So together now we have that G and the D combo. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, next is the E minor, just stays the same. So it's your first finger on the second fret of the first string. Um, your second finger on the third fret of the second string and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string and I leave the fourth string open um, so they're just diagonal right in the row um, that'll just sound like this one two three four and then for the C normally it's just um, a finger on the third fret of the first string. Uh, for this song, I add in a finger on the second fret of the third string. Um, and that'll sound like this. Um, so all together now, I'm just going to say G, D, E minor, C instead of the weird um, chord names, just to make it easier. All right, so G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, E minor, two, That will take you through the intro and the verses. The chorus is um, going to use the same chords, just in a different order. So we start with C. Um, I didn't add the other finger on for this one. I think it sounds better this way. Um, so it's just a finger on the third fret of the first string. Um, C, and oh, I should say, whereas you play each chord in the verse for four counts. In the chorus, you play them only two counts each for most of it. So C, two, and then next is G. G, two, and then I um, play the D version with your uh, first finger on the second fret of the third string and a finger on the third fret of the second string. D, two, E minor, two. So all together, it'll sound like this. C, two, G, two, D, two. E minor, two. That's the first line of the chorus. The next part is just um, C, G, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the D where um, for two counts we hold it like this and then we just pull one finger down a fret. So they're right next to each other. Um, so, so far this is what the chorus sounds like. Da -da. next line of the chorus is pretty tricky, um, but it's also my favorite. So I'm going to play it for you first just so you can kind of hear it because the chords are weird. So we're going to start with C, 
then go to G. We're going to go from G to having our first finger on the second fret of the first string. Our second finger is on the third fret of the third string. And then our third finger is the third fret of the second string. So it sounds like this. It's so pretty. It's called D sharp augmented, I think. Um, and then from that, we're just going to go to um, E minor. So you just gotta rearrange these two fingers. And then from the E minor, we're going to go back to our version of D that we had, where it's um, one of your fingers on the second fret of the third string and the other on the third fret of the second string. Um, and then it just goes to C for four counts and then back to that D. Okay, I'm gonna play the whole chorus now um, with the uh, basic chord names. C, two, G, two, D, two, E minor, two, C, two, G, two, D, two, three, four, C, two, G, two, D sharp augmented, two, E minor, D, C, two, So there's a lot going on in that third line of the chorus, but I love it. So now I'm going to play um, the intro, a verse, and a chorus, just so you can try to play along. And I'll put the chords uh, down below. beginning of this video, which was now yesterday, I said that I'm always worried when I make tutorials that I'm going to forget something. And I totally forgot that this song has a bridge. So I'm going to really quickly show you how to play that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to play it for you first, just so you can hear it. Nothing around here is quite as it seems. sure if anything's real or a dream and the only thing sure from the start is the song that's inside of your heart don't
So we're just gonna start with a regular um, C for two beats. Um, and then we're going to use um, D, just the regular um, D instead of the D suspended four and the other one that we were doing. Um, so it's just um, three fingers all in a row on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings for two counts. And G for four counts. Um, and you're gonna do that twice, that um, C for two, D for two, and G for four counts. Then for the third line, the only thing sure from the start, you're going to start the same with um, C for two, two, D, two. Then we're gonna go back to that D sharp augmented or G augmented. And um, what's kind of easy about going from D to that one is um, the third and second string fingers can just slide up one and you just move your first finger to the first string over here. So it's a pretty easy transition. Um, uh, then you just go to E minor, back to the D suspended four, and C for four counts, and then the D suspended four to the um, add nine. So I'm just, I know that was really fast, but I'm just going to play through um, the bridge and say the chord name so that you can play along with that too. C, two, D, two, G, two, three, four. C, two, D, two, G, two, three, four. C, two, D, two, D sharp augmented, two, E minor, D suspended four, C, two, three, four, suspended, two, three, four. Okay, going back through it, I know that this video is a little bit messy. It's just hard to explain. Um, these chords especially like I don't really have a strong like background in music theory or anything and I want to make it as easy as possible to understand for the majority of people so thanks for bearing with me. So I hope that that helps you. I know it can be a little bit confusing with the different chords and that's just what I heard from the song so if you find a way that you like better or that you think sounds better of course you can feel free to do that if you do make a cover using what you learned from this tutorial i'd love to see it so uh let me know anyway i hope you guys have a nice day and thanks for watching